Next is linear bounded automata. What is linear bounded automata? Context sensitive grammar generate context sensitive languages. Right? Context sensitive grammar generate context sensitive language. And the machine which recognize all the context sensitive languages are nothing but linear bounded automata. Okay, so the machine name is linear bounded automata. Okay, so if we are considering comparing it with a Turing machine, linear bounded automata is having less power compared to Turing machine. Okay, Turing machine is here. Type 0 grammar are recognized by Turing machine. So by comparing finite or finite state automata is having less power compared to push down automata which is having less power compared to linear bounded automata which is having less power compared to Turing machine. So Turing machine is more powerful than these machines. Okay. So in case of linear bounded automata and Turing machine both are having a both, both are using the data structure tape. Push down automata is using stack data structure, right? Here linear bounded automata is using tape data structure. Here it is using infinite length tape. Here the length of the tape is fixed, but here it is infinite length tape. So the data structure used by the linear bounded automata and Turing machine is tape. Okay. So, and it, I told you it is less powerful than Turing machine, but more pow powerful than push down automata. The computation is restricted to constant bounded area and here we are using two special symbols that is we are having the tape data structure so we are having a tape in this tape you can see an end marker here this is a left end marker in this tape I can see a right end marker in between you can see some area here one two three four okay so this is the bounded area here only we can store the string okay, only we can store the string that is, here we can store four length string. Okay, so the area is restricted here. So there are two end markers here, left end marker and right end marker. Okay, so the input alphabet contains two special symbols which serve as left and right end marker. Which means that the transition neither move left to the left end marker nor to the right by using the right end marker on the tape. So a non-determinist linear bounded automata is always a context sensitive and linear bounded automata with empty language is undecidable. Here this is a tape data structure. Left end marker is there, right end marker is there. In between you can see some spaces. So we can store the string in this restricted area. Here you can see 10, length, 10 spaces, 10 location. So 10 length string can store here. Okay. So this is a tape we are using for linear bounded automata. So this area is bounded. So it is represented by using 8 tuples. Normally a automata is represented by using 5 tuples, right? DF and NF you already studied. Q, Sigma, Del, Q, 0, F, right? Here Q, Sigma, Del, Q, not F, along with the 3 more extra tuples. One is a tape alphabet T. Then we are using 2 end markers, right and left end marker. These are not equal. Left end marker and right end marker are not equal. Okay. So what is Q? Finite number of states. Sigma is a set of input symbol, del is a transition function, q0 is a starting state, f is a set of final states and we are using the tape data structure having tape alphabet and two end markers. So tape alphabet, right end marker and left end marker. Okay, so the transition is like this. State is the tape symbol gives state comma tape input tape symbol comma some constant which value will be 0 plus 1 minus 1 you need to study only theoretical portion for this particular topic okay and is used for genetic programming and in compiler design that is in the case of semantic analysis that is for constructing syntax pa syntactic parse tree for the constructing a parse tree we can use linear bounded automata for genetic programming also we can use linear bounded automata and context sensitive grammar okay so this is about linear bounded automata